Shut up, bird. So I, I wrote up a uh, summary of my observations on So I wanted to make a couple points. Um, when there was slavery, uh, they had a Southern gentleman code of conduct and they used to fight for the honor of women and stuff like that. So for there to be justice, um, they have to be living by strict, um, they have to feel the pinch of uh, authority to offset having slaves. Um, so Southern Code of Conduct, I guess they probably had to sleep with a gun under their bed, under their pillow. That takes big balls to, how did they do that? Um, how could you go to sleep when you have slaves? Anyway, uh, one thing the Egyptians did was uh, kill the uh, male Hebrews. They said, you know, there's too many of these Hebrew. It's getting dangerous. I decided, uh, I decided that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I decided uh, a king has to have courage. I'm using Wizard of Oz logic. <laughs> Welcome to college. Everybody wants them. Has an incredible score on Rotten Tomatoes. Stop. that's when they killed the male babies and that's when Moses was uh, they put him in a basket put him on the river so now God is perfectly just he's not the the death of the firstborn I think that comes from um, justice for the the males killed so first of all a king has to has to have courage that's my rule. So I get pissed off at the uh, the NSA, the CIA, the FBI. They're they're beyond courage. Now they're now they're being cowards. When the iron fist closes too much, that's when you lose your legitimacy, and then God overthrows you. So I'm just waiting for the God to fuck them up. Anyway, so I want freedom, and if you are too scared to let me have freedom you're fucked anyway so uh, so did you know um, so we're talking about justice there's uh, Godfather this movie impressed me this man wants to kill some people because he, they raped his daughter. Don't I come up though? I'll give you anything you ask. We've known each other many years, but this godmother killed. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found paradise in America. You made me say, you think to call me God for thousands. That is not just murder, money. He asked you for justice. That is not justice, your daughter is still alive. That, I, I can't tell you how much that impresses me. <coughs> that really, really impresses me. This gangster, 
said it's not justice because she's still alive. But he ends up killing them. But anyway, um, that's like God. Uh, now, this is, I have a secret that, you know, I figured all this stuff out on my own. Nobody told me this stuff. Um, if you go to, uh, everybody says God's crazy. He asked a guy to kill his son. So that's Genesis 22, Abraham and Isaac. God asked him to sacrifice his son. But you know what? Look back a chapter. Abraham had two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. As legend has it, Ishmael became the Arabs. <clears throat> That's what I heard. I don't remember. If, I don't know if that's accurate. Then, when the water in his skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat down about a bow shot away, for she thought, I can't, cannot watch the boy die. So this is something about, um, do not be so distressed about the boy and your slave son. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you. Basically, uh, this the chapter right before that is about a bow shot. They were going to kill the slave child and so that's justice justice was having him kill Isaac so Abraham people think Abraham oh he's such a good person he was gonna sacrifice his son oh hell no <laughs> God was punishing him because the previous chapter he practically killed his slave child so that's one example now this shocked me uh, you know um, God's favorite person is King David, and he 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 saw a pretty girl, and he he got the the uh, so God likes men who like women, and uh, he uh, he got the husband killed in battle, but you know what happened? Um, Saul did the same thing. Saul tried to get David killed. Now, the way this justice works, apparently it's uh, apparently it's not exact. So if almost if he almost got killed, that's good enough. That's the same thing as just like uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. Well, if you don't actually get killed, at least you put yourself in danger. So that's kind of how the justice works. So, uh, let's get God to talk. I like doing, I like to intimidate the CIA. Hey CIA, I can make your bombs blow up. Watch this. I'm gonna make all your uranium detonate. Bow. <laughs> what if it all decided to blow up? So, You know, they're definitely in the territory of cowardly lions. They're, I think they passed. So 21769. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of, of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, utter a song, arise, Barak, and lead thy captive, captivity captive, thou son of Abinoam. Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim was there a root of them against Amalek, after the Benjamin among thy people. Out of Machir came down governors. Out of okay, anyway, you know, um, 
when I'm walking down the street and a couple big niggers go past, a lot of times I go in the side, in the gutter. <laughs> and there's pecking order and big guys on the sidewalk pretty much uh, now that's the sidewalk then there's the boardroom and you know Google doesn't have a lot of engineer black engineers um, it's just life you know there's pecking pecking order anyway um, so this is kind of funny uh, so uh, Neanderthals had blue eyes that's what God said isn't that right Mr. God I'm just saying <laughs> it's kind of obvious they came from Germany Neanderthals in France and stuff. Just don't drop brown eyed Neanderthals because that's inaccurate. As long as your Neanderthals have blue eyes, I'm completely happy. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> what? What's the problem? I didn't say you were a Neanderthal just said Neanderthals had blue eyes. <sighs> anyway, I'll have that.